What's up game developers, Couch Ferret here, and today we are going to draw an animator shooting animation in a sprite. We draw it in all 8 directions to make smooth turning transitions. If it sounds fun, then stay with me and consider subscribing so you won't miss any future videos of this game. Cool, let's begin. I've decided to have 8 directional animations for aiming instead of the 6 directions we have for the running and walking animations. The reason behind this is that with 6 directions there are huge gaps between rotations. When we shoot arrows it would look odd that the archer's animation is facing in a completely different direction than the arrow's movement. Let's start with the frames for all directions where the bow is fully drawn with an arrow. Later we will fill out the rest of the frames of the animations. I've separated the body from the rest of the parts like the arms, bow and arrow. Now let's lay down the bow. After that we need to draw a horizontal line which will be the arrow itself. Pick the color of the face and put a pixel on the bow where the hand would hold it. To make the arrow a bit more recognizable let's have a white pixel at its tip. This will be the arrow head. Okay. Let's draw the other arm, which will pull the arrow. We need to use a darker shade when we draw the arms in front of the body to make them distinguishable. That's good enough. Because the bowstring is kind of narrower than one pixel, we need to give it 50% opacity to make it look like it's very thin. It's easier to just have it on a layer of its own and set the layer's opacity to 50%. We are done with the aim left frame. Let's continue with the aim left down. When working in pixel art, it's highly recommended to use perfect lines as much as possible. Perfect lines are the lines that don't have ugly breaks in them and your eyes can follow them without difficulty. The 45 degree angles line is a perfect line and sometimes they call it the 1 to 1 line based on the y and x coordinates. But other perfect lines exist like the 2 to 1 and 1 to 2 and of course the 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 which are the vertical and horizontal lines. Ok, let's redraw the bow based on the arrow. Then let's adjust the string as well. I've tried to lower the arm but it doesn't look good if it isn't in line with the arrow. Now we can continue with aim down. This one is easy because not a lot of stuff is visible. We can only draw the arms and that's all. Mirroring the aim left down, we can easily make the aim right down. The same is true for the aim right also. We are done with the front facing frames. Let's do the back facing ones. Drawing the arrow, the same perfect line thing applies here as well. The aim up is just 2 pixels, so that will be fast. And finally, let's mirror the aim right up to get the aim left up. Now we are done with every direction. How cool is that? Ok, let's spice things up by animating the directions. Let's copy the frame and change the bow to have less tension in it. We need to move the arrow a bit forward because it's not yet pulled and adjust the arm to it. Let's make the string a straight line. It looks cool. But we need one frame between them. I've planned to have a short animation for releasing and shooting the arrow. Probably this will end up being a separate animation in Unity, but for now let's draw it with the rest. The arm should jump back, the arrow should disappear and the whole bow should lose its tension. Perfect. Let's copy it to the other side to get the aim right animation. From now on the rest of the animations are trials and errors. Modify it until you become satisfied with the results. It's a bit tedious, so I'm fast forwarding. Ok, I'm back and here are the final animations. During the process I went back to redraw the bow in the aim left down and aim right down animations. I wanted to emphasize the bow's tension change. I think it ended up being pretty good, so let's export it as a sprite sheet to use it in Unity in the next episode. That's it for today folks, next time we will use the exported sprite sheet in Unity to make shooting animations with the blend tree. We will be able to run and shoot at the same time. So be sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions about what you have just seen, feel free to ask and I try to answer all of them. See you next time.